right? It's bird fishing season here in South Louisiana. And the fall of the year is when white shrimp dump out of backwater marshes. And specks, of course, have already come inside from their summertime spawn. So they really get to feast in anticipation of the lean winter months. So this is the time of year you can really mop up by fishing birds. So I'm heading down this morning deep into the marshes looking for some of those bird feeding speckled trout. I got my big ice chest. <laughs> Hopefully I can load it up. Let's see. All right, as you can perhaps tell, it is an absolutely beautiful morning. Just a slight west wind. Now it's too early to see any birds working. Got to give that sun a little bit of time to get up so the birds can see. But I'm here kind of at the mouth of a bayou. And this is where it should happen if it's going to happen. I am seeing a ton of pogies flipping. So that's definitely a good sign. I'm going to start with this TKO shrimp under my Versamax Bolt Pro Series cork. Just kind of search, looking for some fish until that sun gets up a little bit. Incredible number of pogies in here. Oh, there's a fish. What the heck? First cast, how'd I miss him? <laughs> that was a good fish. Felt like it might have been a redfish. Tighten that drag of hair. Well, I could have had the first cast curve, so probably a good thing I missed him. Just a silly amount of bait around here. I think my leader's too long. Good thing with this bolt, you can shorten it up so easily. Oh, nice trout. Good trout. All right. That was kind of a fluky deal. I turned around to look at the marsh, see where I was going next, and this fish hit. Ow. Ow, you bitch. Keeper number one. Oh, there's a fish. Another nice trout. Ooh. All right. I'm just killing time now, waiting for that sun to get up. Starting to see a few birds here and there. Got a couple of keepers already. What are you? It's a little trout. He just barely took it under. He actually might even be 12 inches. I'm gonna measure him, but I don't think he is. I think he's too small. Let's see. I probably could have squeezed him, but no point. All right, I feel like I could sit here and probably peck away at some fish, maybe catch a limit. But now that the sun's brightening the sky a little bit, I'm gonna go run through this lake. It's got several bayous that empty into it. I'm gonna see if I can find some birds diving on shrimp, see if we get a little faster action. That's what I'm gonna do. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Publius Sporting Goods. All right, I crossed the entire lake and didn't see the first bird, but as you can see that sun is just getting up over the horizon. So I'm gonna work this shoreline here, just see if I can run across something, make a quick pass with this cork, give that sun a little chance to get up. Obviously that helps the birds. If you've ever done any sight fishing, it's the same as that concept. You want that sun up to help you peer into the water. But you know how bird fishing is. I mean, like sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. This time of year it happens so often, but you just never really know. I like to put myself in areas where it should happen and just always keep my eyes peeled. The water in here is absolutely spectacular, just gorgeous. This is just my favorite search rig this time of year. I'll usually switch once I can fine tune the bite, but man, this is just awesome for covering water. Big broad flats. Oh, there's one. Probably not the biggest fish I'll catch today, but he's definitely a keeper. Yeah, definitely a keeper. State of Louisiana kept the size minimum at 12 inches for the, oh, for the next year. They're gonna revisit it in October of next year, 2021. 
So right now this fish is still legal. And a lot of people from out of town laugh at us in Louisiana for keeping 12 inch speckle trout. It's no shame in my game. I actually love the 12 inchers. They're my favorite fish to eat. Just so tasty. I'd much rather a 12 incher than say a 14 or 15 incher for the ones that I'm gonna eat. And I really think it's true of everybody. That's kind of the ones everybody goes for when you cook the fish. Everybody goes for those small little fillets and bypasses those big fillets. Pro tip 101, always cast your cork directly into the sun, especially when you haven't put on your sunglasses yet. All right, last cast, we're gonna move again, go hunt for some birds, and if we strike out with that, we may hit our other shoreline again where we found a few fish, and after that, we'll, uh, we'll just move on and find something else. Water's too good, and there's way too much bait to waste a bunch of time on slow action. It's gonna happen today, just gotta figure out where. All right, found the birds. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, there's a fish already. First cast. And he's got potential. He's got potential, that's all I'll say. He might make it, but I think he will not make it. Nah. Set him free. Uh-oh, there's another one. There's another one. Hopefully you're bigger than your buddy, but you do not appear to be. In fact, you look like a rubber stamp. He must have been his twin brother. You're not even worth a measure. Oh, that feels a little better. That feels a little better. <laughs> Just a little better, but he will make the team, that's for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. A 14 inch fish, plenty big enough. All right. I'm not sure if he's a keeper or not. I'm kind of fighting this current, but he looks like a keeper. I think he is. All right. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Just had to find the birds. Man, these fish are just all through here. It's incredible. <laughs> Gotta love the fall. Oh. I mean, it's just silly. It is silly. Silly, silly, silly. That's a good keeper. You can see there's a run out right over here that I'm super tempted to go jig, but I'm getting multiple bites every cast right here on this cork. It's kind of hard to leave. <laughs> like that, like that. I don't think he's the biggest one. He's gonna get to see tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe not. No, nah, he's definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. All right. Goodness. There you are. Finally. Got too close to that hook. That's definitely a keeper. Good fish, good fish. All right, take 25 of them. So there's a big run out right up here that is draining. Oh, shoot, I missed him. That is draining shrimp all through this little bayou. And these fish are just stacked, having a feast. Classic fall fishing. All right, you're a keeper trout. There we go, there we go. All right, good fish. 
good fish, fish of the day so far. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by Death Grip Jig Heads and by SportsmansOutfitters.com and by Cito New Orleans and by Delta Marina and by Plaquemines Parish. All right. Right where he should have been, right at the mouth of that little cut right there. All right, so our tide has quit, and that means, unfortunately, so has our bite. It went from every cast to just nothing. So I can sit here and wait it out and definitely catch a few more fish when that tide flips. But I got 17 speckled trout cooling in the ice chest. That's plenty enough for me. No reason to be greedy. I'm gonna call it a day. It was a very productive one at that. I mean, heck, it's not even nine o'clock yet. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.